Well, I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, not a lot new on the viewer front. Um, let's see, I think our last promotion was the uh, key mappings viewer. I'm still getting some uh, other merges done um, to get the to get various RCs updated. Um, so eventually we're going to have two mates out in RC probably at the same time. There's 5.15 and 5.16, uh, the F. Um, the LMR number five, which I think is pretty close. Uh, Euclid or Ptolemy, do you want to give a rundown on where we are with that one? Yeah, we just, I mean, we... Uh... We had some minor updates, and then we've sent it back into QA. Nothing functionally has really changed in the last uh, week or two. It's just sitting there uh, marinating for uh, for a while before, as a release candidate. And we're, we're actually spending all our time looking at uh, LMR6 now. Uh, actual bug fixing is going on in LMR6. So if LMR5 uh, passes muster on crash rate, we'll probably uh, be in a position to promote that. Yeah, I think fairly soon. It's It's been, uh, the last build has been there out almost a week now, I think. And um, crash rate, as far as I know, crash rate is, is uh, acceptable. Okay, well, we'll see how that looks. Um, could... Could be either that one or Maint 515 could be going out next week, but uh, no, don't know definitely yet. Um, got a few other things in the works. The uh, 519 cache changes are uh, going back into RC. That was something we had to roll back a while back. Um, the uh, We've been working for a while on... Uh, Apple notarization, so you don't get those warnings trying to run on a Mac. Um, I think that one's getting close, uh, but it's not uh, uh, it's not out in a in a public viewer yet. Um, once that seems to be ready, we'll do a project viewer and then uh, you know work its way through the rest of the system. Um, we have uh, five eighteen, which has some viewer UI changes for particularly focused on kind of improving new user experience. Um, and so that one will be coming along fairly soon, I think, as a as an RC. Uh, it's getting close to ready for that. Um, and what else? Am I forgetting anything else? We're working on LMR number six, which has more, which is going to have more graphics uh, bug fixes. And let's see, viewer profiles, legacy profiles viewer is um, currently on hold. There's a couple of different discussions going on about whether we either want more UI changes or want to change more stuff on the website. Um, so uh, we're, it's, it's a little TBD exactly what's going to happen with that one at this point. And I think that's the, that's the list. Um, let's see. We have Grumpity, we have Grumpity. Uh, Grumpity, you want to say anything about uh, what's going on in uh, kind of product land? Hi. Um, I'm actually just here um, in case anybody wants to ask questions about the fees or uh, yell at me about the fee um, or haven't seen the announcement about it. Um, <laughs> oh, Chaser, I'm so sorry. Um, if you sign up for pre excuse your buy fees. Uh, yeah, there's a lively conversation on the forums. Uh, Reed has been um, the punching bag on that side, and I think he's done a fantastic job. Um, and thank you, Chaser. I, we appreciate that. Uh, Kitty, that's understandable. Um, so yeah, I can answer more general questions about uh, 
things as well. And um, this is a third party viewer meeting, but uh, if we have time, I'll be available. Coffee, it's um, a lot of the UI cleanup is uh, focused on the new user experience specifically. Um, so we've been looking at the viewer um, with a new user in mind and uh, the tasks that a new user need to accomplish to be successful in SL um, and trying to make that easier. Um, and um, the 2FA plans, yeah, we plan on working on 2FA. Um, and uh, that's going to get some love soon. I'm also going to do a thing that is an absolute taboo and uh, I totally shouldn't be doing, but we're in the process of um, putting out updates to maps. Um, uh, well, to map generation. So, fingers crossed, uh, we'll get back to normal. Yeah, that turned out to be a much bigger effort than anybody <laughs> wanted it to be. I don't know if anticipated, but certainly <laughs> we wouldn't have chosen for this to be so hard. I, I don't think we know all the details about how 2FA is going to work, but we're certainly not going to be disabling third-party viewers. That would be a large, uh, large change. That would be crazy and stupid. Um, and while we may make mistakes here and there, uh, on the whole, not crazy or stupid. Certainly not together. Uh, in general, I would like to think that uh, we have shown over many recent years that uh, we're committed to working um, closely with the TPV community to make sure that our changes are actually beneficial and incorporated and roll out in a predictable manner. Um, and I intend to, for this to continue. I think that's all any of us could hope for in a headline. Yeah, coffee, you can put that on a t-shirt. We want to cut though. Uh, which type of uh, spammy thing of coffee? This is like a really global question, because sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I think about the state of the world today, and I'm like, can anything be done about spam?
Python 3, yeah, that is becoming increasingly something that's hard to put off. Um, you know, more and more packages are just pulling out the plug and saying we're not supporting Python 2 anymore. So we don't have a time frame for that, but uh, it's, you know, obviously it's not something we can ignore forever. Um, it It may be getting addressed more on the server side before before the uh, uh, viewer side, there's more services that really depend on it there. Um, I don't know if there's particular Python uh, you know, scripts or applications that you're concerned about, or if it's uh, uh, just a kind of a general question. I just ran into another source that has dropped Python 2 that I use for building up a build system. And so the build system is diff more difficult to build up without having Python 2 available. And so I'm just concerned that we ought to get Python 3 going pretty soon. Yeah, I think there's going to be, you know, more and more cases of that kind of thing, and uh, eventually it's just going to become a can't-put-it-off-any-longer situation. So is it fair to say that the main concern here is spam from objects? Um, I'll be honest, this comes to the forefront uh, of our attention um, and then kind of um, slides out again as, as other fires erupt. Uh, I'll spend some time thinking about what can be done about spam and I'll follow up on that thread. I don't tend to get spam from objects, so I don't really know exactly what the typical scenario is. Is this like any object you've previously interacted with can send you, you know, messages in chat, or is is there more to it than that?
So can you mute those objects or otherwise prevent them from uh, sending stuff to you? Okay, so you can you can get them out of your chat, but you can't get them out of your email. Yeah, if if you block the owner of the object, does that also stop the object from interacting with you? It, it does, but if it's a throwaway account, then they keep yeah. the mailing lists. It's the same as, you know, blocking spam in the olden days by blocking the individual sand center. Um, I, I think the problem is well understood internally among various parties. We just... You know, spam filtering is hard, um, and uh, you know, we don't have endless resources, but maybe we can um, consider some third-party tools that, or, or um, the APIs or libraries that we could rely on to help us with this. Pretty much. Spam filtering is a really hard problem. It may be a first step. But you know, in that case, I would redirect you to the governance user group. Oh, that's fun.
the uh, inventory folder rename. So it's like anything that it can parse as a as a numerical value. It's like interpreting it. So are you sure that it's actually responding to the fact that it's a number and it's not just like dropping the plus or something? Oh, I guess you've got a case for that, yeah. Huh, that's wild. So is it only a problem with uh, inventory items that start out with a plus in them, or are there other characters that it that it acts up with too? Okay. Huh, yeah, well maybe it is, there's a comment from Meister there, it sounds like maybe it's actually a viewer display issue rather than a, rather than a folder getting renamed issue. Yeah, maybe, or maybe something sanitizing input, not right. Yeah, yeah, I mean if it's just a display thing then it should be an easy fix. Take a look at it. Chaser, it would not be my preferred solution. Um, I, I, community administered blacklists are never a good idea. There's an idea. It looks like somebody's already looked at this inventory bug and decided it's probably server related. Um, the viewer is displaying what it gets from login, but uh, what's coming from login is dropping the plus in these cases.
Yeah, cap based may be the way to go there. Come to think of it, I think we have something in the works for extending the region object's cap uh, to capture more info than the pathfinding stuff was getting. Um, that may have already gone out ages ago. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about something that we were looking at during, uh, probably during Bento, so it's been a while. Let's see if I can dig that up. Um, this is a great topic to raise at server user group, I think. There's all sorts of user groups. All right, well, any other topics for this week? We can let everybody run off and have a weekend or get other stuff done or whatever. If there's nothing else. Going once, twice. Okay, so all day it is. Well, have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you. Talk to you later. Good to see you all. It's been a while. Thanks for coming, Grumpy. No, Chaser, too late. What is it?
I can't answer that. I'm sorry. Uh, you could try on the forums or uh, poke a friend to ask it at the land user group. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't be more helpful. Uh, see, coffee, Zindra needs more love could also go on a t-shirt. Yeah, kitty, it's like classroom parent, you know? All right, thanks. I'm taking off. <laughs>